Bees once again. Remember, hit that subscribe button. And I'm delighted to be joined by the Commonwealth champion in the building once more, Mr. Lyndon Arthur. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? <laughs> hey man, you know what? When you're living like a king, man, you can just be laid back. You know, you've got the Commonwealth strap. You had a good 2020. Hey man, how you been feeling? Yeah. Yeah, all right, man. All right. Just just relaxing, just. Just um, sorry, the phone call there. Just yeah, just just chilling, just chilling. Mm. Listen, man, it was a, it was a big twenty twenty for you. I know we had issues with the lockdown and the pandemic and all that, but aside from that, I guess you could look back at last year and say, I did bits last year. I'm happy. I did, I did I? I did I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you say you did all right, I mean, what was your aspirations for 2020? I mean, you had a big win over Anthony Yard, a big win. A lot of people respected that, you know. So I guess, you know, for, for most people, it was a big year. But you're saying you could have done more that year? No, nah, no, nah, I'm just, I'm, I'm joking. I must be modest. I'm joking. <laughs> all right. It was a huge year. It was. A huge year. It was. This year is looking, it's looking bright for you. Yeah, man, I'm, um, I'm ranked number three, I think, and number four in the IBF. Number three in the WBO or number five, something like that. Anyway, it's, it's, it's all right, man. It's, it's, um, it's a nice position to be in. Mm. What exactly is, I know on the topic of Andy Yard, what is the plan with the rematch? Uh, I know Frank Warren said eventually you'll get, you'll get round to it, but he was also saying that you've got options as well. Um, what's the situation? Yeah, I got options, you know, I'll just come back, I'll just, just have my operation, so we'll probably have a fight back. I don't know, I'm not even too sure, we're looking at, we're talking about it over the next few days, few weeks, so need to get back, back fully fit, 100%, or as 100% as I can be, and, and, and we'll crack on. Mm. Well, by the time you recover, what are you anticipating in terms of actually being able to train again? Are you saying probably early summer? To be back or much earlier than yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 late, late April, early May, or late May even. Late May, you know, like late May would be ideal. Hmm. So we're yeah, getting kind of, we're kind of already getting deep into the halfway point of the year already. Wow, that, wow. Okay, so would you kind of classify that as a setback towards your aspirations this year? Mm, I suppose you can say that, but at the same time. You know, I fought in December. If I fight in May, it's only five months. I had a year out before I fought next month. So I'm doing better than last year. You know what I mean? So, and, and, and the fight's even bigger now. So, mm, But in terms of momentum, you know, obviously, look, you know, you had that big win. You know, you're just on a roll. You're just like, okay, let's go. 2021, let's keep yeah, it moving. That's, that's, that's the same. It's the same regardless. You, you, you take the pros with the cons of boxing. This is just a con of it, but not... And, and, I'll still be sharp. I'll still be. I'll still be ready to put on a good performance. My 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 my, um, my form will stay the same. Hmm. And you know, you uh, would you say that you'd probably look to take a tune-up before any rematches, kind of put on a table, or are you easy, or you just leave it to your team? Yeah, let's leave it to my team. Just let them deal with it. It is what it is. I um, I know inspiring. Mm. When I'm, I'm in a position now where I don't have to go into a... Uh, like, I don't have to rush into a big fight. Not, not, not in a position where I don't have to rush into one, but I mean, the fight that... Like, in another situation, you probably want to talk that yard fight with the injured. But 
I've not had the coming out fight yet kind of thing. I've not had my big fight yet in regards to the domestic level and a little bit on the world. Um, so I had to take that fight regardless of the injury. But mm. now I'm kind of like, now nah, let me get let me get right for this. Let me make sure I stay where I am. So, you know, when you're 100%, what can we expect from you in that rematch? Well, you know, you've seen what happened in the first match, so regardless how, regardless how win anything going forward, whether it's yard or not. It's interesting. You know what? It's like we've got a crop of um, fantastic light heavyweights and, you know, it must feel good that you're in the mix, you know, with Callum Johnson, yeah. Boatsy and the yard. Wow. Yeah, you have to um, you have to put me up there now. And I've been said this from ages ago, like eventually you will talk about me in there because it was, like, was kind of missing me out. And it wasn't annoying, but it was just like, all right, watch when I get there. I'm going to show you. And now I'm there. So you can't ignore me no more. Okay. So is it more like people now have to play to your tune now that, you know what I mean, that you made your break breakthrough? Yeah, it's not even so much play for my tune. It's just don't forget me in it. You slept on me. I know I'm... I know I'm now we're, we're, we're in the same room. There was two. And I don't think the fighters slept on me. I just think the, the, the more the public didn't really know about me, kind of thing. So it, it led people to sleep on me by accident. Okay. I suppose it's, it's different being the guy that is the underdog to the guy that you know, people are gunning for. We know we'll get to that now. It's just certainly a change in mentality you know you, you know you uh you made that progress so now people are saying you know i want it in an offer i've seen a lot of that lately oh i've not i've not seen it you've been saying that bolotniks oh bolotnik oh the, 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 the um the one that the one that says yeah yeah mtk you won that thing you won that thing yeah 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 oh yeah i see that um good fire good fire I'm sure we'll cross paths at, at some point. He beat Jose Burton. I know you've done, in the Golden Contract, I know you've done sparring with Jose Burton. Have you done ho sparring yeah. with Jose Burton? I'm yeah. sure you told me. Yeah, I sparred Jose a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, obviously, you know, we know Jose Burton's a good fighter, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. So, really, you know, if he beats Jose Burton, I suppose it's a measure of actually how good he is. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose, but you can't really come like we, everyone's different. We're all different fighters. We all have different attributes. Um, styles make fights. Um, so it's a good fire. It's a good fire, but like next, um, I've only seen him once or twice because of his contract. But he, he, he's definitely in 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 the radar. Hmm. Hey, I know, obviously, look, you know, Pat trains you. He's got your best interests at heart. What has he kind of discussed with you? I mean, what, is his, what has been his experience advice to you now that, you know, you're part of that mix? I'm just going to go over the flow and see what happens. I know I want to be a world champion. Will be. So, we put ourselves in a good position with, with, with arm's length. It's um, it's gonna be a fun next couple of years, no. There's talk of uh, you potentially fighting in a WBO eliminator, which should be really yeah. wow. How excited would that be? That'd be good, but they want me to fight number two, mm. which to me makes no sense. Again, I don't know, but in a minute, in a minute, I probably be able to fight for that world title rather than fighting an eliminator kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? That's just what I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. That's just that's just my my look on the situation. It's like, why? Well, if a number three in the world, number one and two can fight, and I can fight the winner. Mm. Them two fight. I'll be number two. If that's how it works, do you know what I mean? And then I can fight the winner at the end of the year, and I fight it for the world title. Mm. I don't know. I just don't think it makes sense. When number one and two was gonna fight for it anyway. Mm. But why am I fighting? Why am I fighting the number two for an eliminator? Mm. But 
But you, maybe but, not. Maybe yeah. maybe it doesn't work like that. I don't know. But it just that's what I'm. That's how I'm looking at. It. Yeah, like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a big year. Big year. You, what you plan to be out twice this year, potentially? I'll, I'll squeeze free. I'll try and squeeze free. We'll see. Obviously, it would have been nice to be able to fight early this year, but I have to be hundred percent now. I can't afford to slip up at any point now. Um, I try and get out of May, then probably September. Mm. Try it maybe December. We don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Does it interest you by any chance to maybe get a, your hands on a British title? I mean, Craig Richards, it, 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 well, that was a spectacular victory against Shaq and Peters. It was. It was. It was. I love the British title. Yeah. But, you know, we're both, in, me and Craig are both in positions to, to, like, I'd love to get the British title, but if I can get the world, if I can go the direction of the world title, then why not? Mm. What did you make of his, his fight against Shaq and Peters? I mean, what did you make of the win? Actually, I actually, no disrespect, I actually didn't watch it. I just seen a highlight knockout. But the knockout looked good. Um, cause it's good it's, you know, I'm supposed it was a good fight. Like I said, I've only seen the highlights, but, you know, he did well. So, you know, you, you win a British title in style like that, then you have to be some sort of good, of a good level. Mm. It's crazy, man, because, you know, if you did fight Craig Richards, it would be uh, London against Manny again. 1-0 Manny at the moment. <laughs> you know, you know, and I'd love to make it too. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm only speaking to you because, you know, Austin, we didn't lose to you over the weekend. So, you know, you know, you know I can't be attacked. You know yeah. Hey, listen, let's know if we won, I'd have been on your case. <laughs> and who else? Dave, David Cowell said the same thing to me as well. You know, he's a main United <laughs> fan. He was straight on it as well. So, yeah. that's crazy, man. Do you know, do you feel like, obviously, look, man, uh, a lot of good things have been coming out of Manchester. You know, yourself, H, Bugsy, there's a lot of good things, you know, coming out. Man, man United are now doing well. So, I, I suggest the city now is on fire. It's on fire, yeah. It is. It's hot. It's a hot city right now. And just give me some hot weather here. <laughs> you know, yeah, we finish it off. But now, nah, man, there's, there's a lot of talent in Manchester. It's just not seen yet. Really too tough. So it's getting there. Yeah, is the shift back up the north? It's yeah, slowly. Slowly. <laughs> you know, Tyson Fury from Manchester as well. All right, all right. We have to, we have to remember that. That's so, all. No, it is. It is it's getting there. Hmm. Uh, you mentioned Tyson Fury. I think you know, there's a lot of talk about him fighting Joshua. Uh, yeah. How excited are you if that fight was to happen? Oh, sorry. Oh, boy, actually. He was in Sheffield with <laughs> Joshua, innit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was down there. I've just seen him up there a few times. But yeah, man, it, it, it's... That's a... Like, obviously, I, I've said it many times. Like that. I just feel like that fight needs to happen. While they both got all the titles, like it just makes so much sense that it'd be like one of the biggest fights boxing history, like to go down, especially in the era we've got now of boxing. So it'd just be mad, it'd just be mad. Like, can you imagine? I just feel like it would be, I feel like we'd be robbed of an of of of, of history if there's no yeah, fans yeah, there, yeah. though. If there's no fans there, mm. that's probably like, not, yeah. Yeah, like it won't be the same. That fight needs fans. It needs it needs whether it's Wem Wimbledon, Wembley, ninety thousand or Cardiff at that stadium there, or even if it's abroad in Dubai or wherever they want to put it, just with a lot of fans. And I think like it needs fans that that, that fight there because you know what Brit you know what Brits are like for supporting their own. Like you see it with Ricky Hatton. I mm. think Josh has got that kind of thing now more because he's filling up ninety thousand people for that. So. That fight there, like, it is, it's just historic, isn't it? And, and you will go down. Uh, look, I know it's obviously a compromising position, putting you in a compromising position, but the actual winner of that fight, <laughs> how would it go for you? Oh, you must pick a winner? Yeah, how, how would it go for you? Straight up. I'm a fan of both of them, but I believe Fiori edges it in... in 
it can go one way. It can go like one or two ways. Like you say, like well, at first you say Joshua are going to knock him out, or Fury's going to outbox him. But now we've just seen Fury knock Wilder out and bully him. So now we know that. But then we seen we seen Joshua box on the back foot against Ruiz. So it's like it makes it all the more exciting to think about it. But then you've got the will of Fury doesn't know how to lose at all. Joshua's lost to Ruiz, so it's kind of the, 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 the damage of losing. The fear of that, that makes you 20, 30% better is gone. But then he's a champion and he's a winner, so I don't know. It's just a, it's an exciting fight. I, I, I tip towards Fury. I do. Um, I'm allowed to. It's an opinion. Mm. And, and, you know, it's, 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 I'm excited for the fight. Exactly. Hey, speaking exactly. of a Joshua, would you, would you? I know your mates Joshua Boatsy. Is that something that we would ever see? Of course, it's something that we, we you know, it's definitely we're both in the same weight, we're both at the top of our game. He's number one in Britain, I'm number two. We both ranked in the world. That could be for a world title in a minute. You know what I mean? So the only thing stopping me and him fighting is probably that like run different. Promote, promote, yeah, 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 of course. Okay, Sorry, but yeah, mm. no, 100%. Man, look, man, when there's uh fight news, man, we'll be back in touch, man. And um, I should be a man in real soon, man. Real, yeah. real soon, man. You got to yeah, take man, the that's latest it. Caribbean, man. That's what I got to go to the, the boom Caribbean yeah. in Manny. Yeah, Next yeah, week. Got, yeah, yeah, great. Sunrise, man. When you come down, shout we'll go. Sunrise, man. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, man. Hey, man, we got to shout out the man himself, man. The Commonwealth champ, Lyndon Alpha. Hey. Thank you, guys, man. Pep Talk, make sure you subscribe. Thank you. Cheers, man.